stop talking in an Australian accent. Cut. What's my line? Hello, my fellow Amazonians. Alright, thanks, Baldi. Hello, my fellow Amazonians. Re 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 rewind that. Hello, my fellow Amazonians. Today, we're gonna get right to the point. You just stumbled across my video because you want to dive into the Amazon rainforest and avenge, and avenge, and emerge as a cold-blooded Amazonian. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be your safari guide through this adventure, and I'm basically going to be telling you all of the juicy tips and secrets on how to get hired at Amazon. Actually, the first thing before you can even dive into actually acquiring a job, a lot of you might have the very question of, how do I even apply? Now, unfortunately, there is no in-person signups. They're very like secretive about like a lot of the stuff, so like they don't allow like cell phones into the factory. It's a bunch of weird wizardry that's going on there. So yeah, they, they keep it strictly online. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that it's for safety, like they don't want people to come into the to the warehouse asking for papers and like giving it a look or, you know, uh, exposing them. <coughs> Shane Dawson is definitely not allowed there. So if you want to apply for a job, the first step is of course to apply. Do not go in person to the Amazon warehouses. Don't waste your time, don't waste your gas money. Do not waste the effort going there trying to see if you could sauce up a manager or anything like that because it's not going to work. They're literally just going to tell you to just go online like I'm telling you right now and to just f send in your application online. I'm gonna edit it out. So they're gonna literally just tell you exactly what I told you. Um, they're not gonna like scratch your back and be like, I got you, I'll put you on the preferred list. Just go ahead, go to the link in the description or just search up literally Amazon job application. Alrighty, so here's editing Jerry tuning in and uh, you literally just search up Amazon job application. And uh, basically what I wanted to say about the Amazon job application, once you create an account, you fill in your information um, and you search for the job that you want, um, the problem then becomes that these are jobs that, although they're not the most um, hard to get, a lot of people want them. So I remember it took me like a good two and a half to three weeks just to even get a shot at my job that I currently have. Um, and definitely my tip to you guys would be, um, you see this page right here, somewhere along this page it'll be like, oh, um, inform me by text or by email when jobs become available. I suggest you just refresh this page every single day until a job pops up. And when a job pops up, you can tell because it'll give you a schedule as you can see on the screen and you can click confirm and then that's when they'll do like new hire orientation and you'll move forward. But this page is literally blank sometimes and it sucks because when I first started, I was like, bro, I'm never going to get this job because every single time I checked or I waited for a damn email from Amazon, they took their sweet time. They never really updated the page daily like they say. By the time you get a text or an email with a supposed do job, trust me, those jobs are going to be completely gone. So I can't stress how important this tip is. Don't give up. Just make sure that you are constantly constantly checking back in on that page daily i used to do it every day in the morning when i woke up and every night right before bed you don't have to do it as much as i do it but just make sure that you're not counting on their reminders in order to you know check it out for yourself and um, yeah back to the video yeah the application is online save yourself the visit don't try and scratch any managers back because it won't make a difference uh, the people who hire um, aren't really necessarily the people that work at the factory. There's like a whole hiring team. and So yeah, like it might help you out, but the, uh, the, the chances are it's probably not. Bottom line is don't waste it. <laughs> you look like a little criminal just stealing from my stash. Don't you know I'm an Amazonian? That's so weird. <laughs> and then think about it this way. If you just go online, you won't even have to make any human contact. And we know how much we hate that. So that's great. With anxiety shift from the world. For real. Wait, that got really deep. <laughs> so, firstly, we got where to apply out of the way. It's online and it's in the description. It's probably going to be the first link in the description down below. Just do a little bit of deep diving and you'll see it. The second thing that we're going to be talking about is what you need to apply. Make sure that when you first embark on this journey to the application process, I know a couple of my friends try to do this and it's like you really can't start the application process or you shouldn't. I'm really advising against it. Starting the application process before you have some time left over um, and what I mean by that is like don't do it like when yoga class is in five minutes you know what I mean like give yourself some time to breathe and some time to um, 
to fill out the application because within the application it's split, it's split up into multiple sections. So it first starts off with like asking you a couple of personal questions about like your educational uh, history. It's gonna tell you to fill out your full name, uh, your address, how long you've been employed. You might be selected to uh, to answer some stuff about like taxes, uh, like if you receive any like the disability checks or um, uh, what is it like welfare programs from the government. Uh, you know, your boy definitely check the yes box on that. Then the second, then the second part is basically a, a part where it's gonna take you through like an online like test or examination in which you kind of have to like sort boxes in a online program. So you want to also make sure that in order to complete that little simulation is the best way that I can describe it um, is definitely to maybe do some research. I don't know if anybody screenshotted that and put it online of what it looks like um, so you can get a faster time so you can study the rules or whatever. Although I think that the rules of the game or the simulation might differ. Just be ready, um, you know, to burn some, uh, you know, nuts and bolts up in that brain and, you know, get it working in order for you to. Uh, complete that simulation because it's timed uh, so it's a time simulation uh, and you have to follow a certain set of directions it's not hard but it's not easy so I definitely suggest to you know take it easy and uh, make sure that you read the instructions on that and also make sure that you do the application not on a, uh, on a, on a phone but rather on a laptop just so you can avoid any um, technical issues and stuff like that or like starting it on your phone and then it's like you get to the simulation part and it's not supported on your phone and you're just like Dang, I can't do the damn simulation. So it's better just to do the entire process on your computer. It'll make everything easier and everything will be like smoother. And it's, it's just gonna make the process a lot simpler, okay? So definitely make sure you do it on the computer. And if you don't have a computer, make sure to visit a library or ask a friend to borrow one. And yeah, definitely do it on the computer. The whole process, um, I think that it would be a good time for me to say, the whole process of the job application with the simulation and everything took probably like a good hour I'd like to say like from start to finish like for applying it took about an hour so like I said you might want to set aside an hour or so um, so if you have kids you might want to put them to bed and then start the application process if it's like late at night the next tip that I got for you guys is still in regards to the job application now you're gonna see multiple like weird stuff that doesn't even seem like English on that page when it's asking you what type of job you want obviously if you're on my video this is for warehouse associates so but like the thing is a lot of people think that a warehouse associate is the same all around no matter what Amazon factory it is however there's a distinction between factories and you might want to call and ask um, that specific factory like on the website it'll have the job position and then also the address so if you type in that address in Google you will be able to find a number to the warehouse so it would be a good uh, idea to like like give it a call or something like that to make sure that you understand more about the facility and what I mean by that is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, digress a little bit is that not every warehouse is the same so they're gonna offer different types of jobs so for example the one that I work in it's located in the state of Florida in the in the city of Sunrise and it's basically a sortation factory and it deals specifically with orders that are like prime orders for like two day one day shipping and uh, Amazon Prime now orders like the, the orders that you get within like four hours like no more than four hours um, that works kind of like an uber service but for your packages and uh, we don't have like conveyor belts in there like it's it's well we do but it's like much more miniature than a factory that's like an opal locker not only that but we only have part-time positions available so although it says full-time uh, positions available on the on the website for some reason shout out to Amazon I think that you guys should probably fix that because that's kind of misleading but like at, at the at the sunrise uh, location and I'm not just pulling this out of my ass like multiple people said it and they also said it to me at orientation day so um, it's definitely a thing where like even though the website might list it as part-time and full-time um, if that really does matter to you you're not like in my case where like I, I don't really care if it's full-time or part-time um, you might definitely want to give it a call and, and, and make sure that you're gonna be able to um, get that many hours if you're looking for full-time and um, you know get less hours if you're looking for part-time um, because in my facility there's like like only part-time so like even though the website said it was like full-time positions available it's all it's only a part-time facility a matter of fact I think that in the state of Florida at the current time of filming this video and according to my knowledge there's only one full-time facility and it's located in Opalaka and that's the big one with the big conveyor belts and all that stuff 
Um, also, I highly suggest to make sure that you read your job description and make sure that that's what you want to do because they have multiple um, warehouses that are probably going to be listed within your state. And uh, don't just like rush to it just because like make sure that like that's the type of job you want. So like before you like click that confirm now button and just like go into it and like snag it because you're like you, you want the job so badly. Make sure to read some of those responsibilities and make sure that you want to do that. So like some of them. Might might require you to drive a forklift and like if you don't really want to be driving a forklift around like maybe you shouldn't go into the to that job you know you might want to wait until Amazon refreshes their pages because they're always going to be adding new jobs and um, oftentimes more often times than not it's going to be for like a different position so I'm currently going to be a, a, a sortation assistant a sortation assistant, uh, a sortation associate. So basically, um, I help load uh, some packages into the vans. Um, every now and then, I drag a Gaylord around with like packages on it um, from point A to point B, where they will later be sorted. Um, and you know, I work on the assembly line sometimes, like sorting packages to where they need to be routed and that type of stuff. And that's a job that I feel really comfortable with, and um, I, I like it. Just to recap, now that we talked about the application process, make sure that you know where to apply. That's number one. That's going to be in the link down in the description below. Number two, you're going to need to know what you need to apply, and that's basically um, just 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 your passport. Like they're going to give you a, a list of other acceptable documents, but just have your social security and your passport ready because I think you might have to scan it for the first portion of the I-9. I'm not sure. The I-9 is basically just like an identification thing that they make you do at most jobs, and. Um, and it's, it's used for your background check and other stuff. So just make sure you have your passport and your and your uh, social security number um, ready. And number three is understanding that, that there are different types of facilities that suit different people's needs and doing a little bit of research can definitely go a long way, especially if you are very specific about what you want in regards to like a part-time or full-time position. Because like I said, I, I, I don't know about other states, but in my state specifically, not every single facility is full-time. Um, so that's that's definitely something to look out for after you've completed the application process and they send you the glorious email that's like your new hire orientation day has been scheduled you have officially passed to the next step this is basically it's mandatory so you're gonna attend this new hire orientation day and um, this is basically where you're gonna complete the second portion of your I-9. It's gonna be in the first application. Like the best way that I can explain the I-9 is basically you fill out your social security, you fill out some tax documents, and it's basically just for employer identification and uh, tax purposes. And it's also how they're going to confirm that you want a background check. I don't know, it's, it's, it's some weird stuff like that. But don't worry, it, it might sound scary, but it's, it's really just an identification procedure. And as long as you have a US passport, or any of the uh, documents that they're gonna they're gonna send you an email so I don't really feel the need to talk about it too much but just 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 be prepared with um, like a passport or your driver's license um, for that second portion of the I-9. Honestly, new hire orientation day was really fun for me. I had a, uh, I had a really great team of like a hiring associates that were like, you know, doing the presentation and keeping us, you know, active and uh, speaking to us. And when I got there, I spoke to an old man that helped me park my car. And it, it, was, it was a good vibe, it was a good vibe. And like I said, this is where you're gonna complete your second portion of your I-9 um, in person instead of, cause like the, the first portion you do online and you'll see it once you get through the application process um, and this is also where you're gonna take your drug test now the drug test kind of scared me at the beginning not because I take drugs how dare you assume that but because I thought I was gonna have to pee in a cup and I remember I stressed so hard of like like drinking a lot of water so my pee came out clear which it did but it was completely unnecessary because the drug test is gonna be done orally pause it's gonna be done orally like with the little cotton thingy that you put in your mouth be sure to, to, to actually listen very carefully to the instructions because I know that in, in my new hire event a lot of people that were much older than me just could not follow simple directions and it was getting my um, uh, the I guess whoever was organizing the meeting very very frustrated so when it comes to the drug test it's very sensitive stuff um, literally if you mess something up your drug test will come back as failed and you don't want that so make sure that you follow everything down to the T and if you have any problems like I like I I knew what I was doing but because I saw what other people were doing and they were getting like screamed at and stuff like that I'm like okay I don't want to get screamed at so I made sure to make it 
um, my duty that every little like step, like I was asking the 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 the, the, the supervisor, like, hey, am I, is this right? And then they're like, yes. And then I would put it in my mouth or whatever. And then I'm like, is this right? And then they're like, yes. And like I don't know, I just kept bugging them. I, I, I know that's it's pretty funny, but yeah, I, I mean it like really seriously. Like if you have any ounce of doubt in your mind that you're doing something wrong, ask. Um, that'll definitely like speed things up and they won't have to like constantly have to like correct people and uh, you know stop the class it'll keep the flow going really great for the background check you literally just consent um, you literally just give them consent that okay yeah uh, everything is correct on my piece of paper that's where they're gonna tell you your salary at the new hire orientation day they're gonna tell you your salary your hours all of that stuff and they're just gonna make sure that you're okay with the duties that are presented before you and that you're okay with the pay and that everything is up to date all your information like your address your full legal name all of that stuff is correct um, and then they're gonna they're, that's basically gonna be your consent to so consenting to a background check they're gonna do the, your second portion of your I-9 which is literally just you handing them your passport your u.s passport or any other documentations that they said were acceptable on the website and uh, they're basically going to give you a brief presentation on amazon and like what the company stands for um, and one little cool tip that i will give you if you want to look like a little smart skadoodle in, in the meeting is to know what the little arrow I, it's like over there but the arrow on the am on the on the bottom of the amazon logo uh, like what it means so basically what it means is from a to z like that they ship anything from A to Z that's literally what the little um, like arrow means that they ship from A to Z Amazon like you know A to Z um, so that means that they ship anything from like huge canoes to like small books like that, that's literally what it means and um, yeah the, the next the next steps from there um, um, after the new hire orientation day if you accept their offer uh, pretty soon they're gonna send you I think about three emails or so it's like a series of emails they're gonna be like thank you for accepting um, the proposal the proposal or the offer um, we're, we're happy to be to be moving along and then they they send you they send you an email saying that they are conducting a background check on you just to like let you know to give you acknowledgement they're also gonna send you another uh, page where you're gonna complete a virtual orientation day and um, which is basically in, for, well in my case it was online my, my orientation day it basically it's just gonna give you like a bunch of videos of like what your job entails and how to do your job and then they're gonna give you um, your start date and uh, I think I'm missing something else but you'll get the emails they're gonna tell you as soon as you finish and uh, you just want to make sure that you do all of the things that they tell you in that email before your first uh, before your scheduled first start date um, so that there aren't any problems because literally if you don't complete anything like let's say the, the virtual online orientation date you're, you're not they're not gonna let you slide and like actually work so you you want to make sure to get that done it's paid by the way so however long you take on the orientation uh, which I think is like two to four hours at the most uh, uh, it's paid so that's pretty cool and you're gonna set up your direct deposit ah my docs that's the email that they're gonna send you they're gonna send you an email where you have to accept a bunch of like um, legal things um, and they're gonna give you like your employee handbook and all that stuff and it's pretty cool jazz I start this Saturday so I'm definitely gonna make some more update videos if you guys want some so make sure to drop a comment down below or if you need some help like I feel like um, I did a pretty thorough job of explaining the process um, oh I missed one important thing you fellow Amazonians have fun <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like that? But yeah, I felt like I was pretty thorough, but like if I miss something, just go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever and I will do my best to respond back to you. And uh, you know, I just want you guys to have fun. And if you see me working with you for whatever reason someday, make sure you say hi and uh, it'll be kind of cool to see you like, you know, that you watch my videos and we're working together. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm really excited. Shout out to Amazon for hiring me. And uh, I think they're a pretty cool company. Uh, by the way, don't be afraid of the reviews, bro. Like some of the reviews that people write about Amazon as like a workplace are just straight savage. And let me tell you, it's nothing like what they say. Like, obviously I haven't started yet, but for one, they said that the, that the warehouses were hot as hell. The one that I live in Florida and the warehouse that I was at, I was cold. And I know that we were mainly in the break room, but even when I was like in the area with the workers, it really wasn't that cold to me. I mean, it wasn't that hot to me. Like it was 
was it was pretty cool. Like it was a it was a good temperature. Um, nobody looked like they were prisoners. But then again, my facility is different. It's a part-time facility. It's a sortation facility. It's not really like packing that much. You know what I mean? Most of the stuff comes pre-packed or whatever. So I don't know. It might be different from your facility. But I'm I'm excited. I'm excited as shit. And um, I know that you guys are probably pretty pumped too. So what are you waiting for? Go out there, start the application process. Ignore the reviews. It's a high paying job for um, you know a relatively low educational level. You're not gonna find that in too many places. You know, a place that pays you 15, 16, 18 dollars an hour, whatever it is, you know, with you only having graduated high school, and in some people's cases, not even graduating high school. So I definitely think that you guys should give it a shot and decide for yourself. That's what I'm doing. I mean, the reviews kind of scared me, but at the end of the day, I, not everybody's gonna have the same experience. So I'm going off of that, and I hope you guys go off of that too. Challenge you guys to, uh, to try out some pretty cool new things. And I think that Amazon's gonna be a great journey for myself and for you guys as well. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. This is Mr. Stitch, and if you really did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like, comment, rating, subscription, or maybe even your pants, and buy some merch down below. See you guys soon.